This is WBA Super Middleweight Champion Andre Ward, and you're with Leave It in the Ring Radio. Hola, soy Sergio Maravilla Martínez, de LeaveItTheRing.com. Hola, soy Saúl El Canelo Álvarez, y estás en Leave It in the Ring Radio. Bradley, and you're LeaveItTheRing.com. Este que estoy tocará es el renuente. Escúcheme por Leave It in the Ring Radio. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Victor Ortiz. LeaveItInTheRing.com leave So take care guys How you doing? You're with Abner Mares And you're right here with Leave It In The Ring Radio If it does happen here, man um, Okay, so let's talk about last week's fights Here on, here on Leave It In The Ring, guys um, You know, the light heavyweight division Was on spotlight uh, Zordo Ramirez uh, Was definitely got a big test from Gonzalez uh, I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch that fight. It was yep. a back and forth war between the two. Uh, honestly, it was the best fight I've ever seen Zordo in. And you know what? I tweeted out after the fight. I said, Zordo looks like what Julio Cesar Chavez would be if he actually trained, which is not a lot of speed, throws good combinations, but that's what you're going to get. And I think what we got from Zordo is the best we're ever going to see from him. He's not going to grow. He's not going to get any better. He, none of that. He's He is who he is, and that's who we're going to have to accept. I think Golden Boy's going to have to accept that too. With Zordo, I, I guess, do you think it was him getting matched with a, with a guy that's going to make a fun fight? Do you think it's him taking kind of that next half step forward? Um, or just, I mean, or kind of a mix of those two, I suppose. I think, you know what, I think Zordo is a lot like uh, Derek Chisora, I mean, not like Derek, uh, Joseph Parker. you got to force them to fight, or they're going to be on cruise yeah. control the whole time out. Anytime they step in the ring, you know, they're going to be on cruise control. And you know what, that lightweight, heavyweight division has got some real punchers and monsters in that division. So Zordo really can't be sitting back and relaxing uh, and taking it easy. Uh, he's going to have to go out there and not be in cruise control. And I, and I think that's what we wanted to see with Gonzalez. Could he get out of walking in the park, you know, and, you know, staring at the stars and looking at the birds and whistling while he, you know, walks down, you know, the road? We got a guy that was willing to take the bumps and bruises that we've been asking for for quite some time, and uh, he showed up. But, again, uh, he's not the quickest guy, not the strongest guy, he's not the biggest puncher. He did rock his legs a few times, but he's got, yeah, he's you know, he's got something there. Zach? To me, the question is, we saw the top three light heavyweights all in the past month. You know, how do you rank them between Zerto, Better Biev, and Dimitri Bivol? I mean, Zerto has, you know, he's younger, a lot younger than a Better Biev. And Bivol never looks impressive to me, but he keeps winning. So Results. I've got to give him that. Is he the talented out of the three, though, Zach? Do you think? You guys think he's, the, he's, he's honestly the most talented out of all the three names, Bivol? I don't. No? I rate Zerto the highest. Currently, hmm. you know, better be a couple years ago, probably him. And I think out of the three, that Zerto maybe presents the most interesting challenge for a Canelo. Hmm. Okay. Wow. I thought better V would be a much more of a challenge for Canelo. The punching power, uh, him coming forward. Uh, Zerto obviously showed that he's willing to go through the fire. I think what I mean, I don't know what you guys think here. I, have, I always believe that. I mean, I believe that Canelo to take that jump to 175, you know, try to unify that division. But these three other guys should really be trying to make fights with each other because it only makes it a exactly. bigger payday. Yeah, a bigger payday yeah, down they the line. Figure this stuff out. One of them should be undisputed, and then that guy's gonna fight Canelo, you know? Right. All the marbles. That's what I want to see. Yep, all the marbles. And it, and it makes up, if they go back to pay per view, that makes the world a difference because now you have two unified champions facing each other not not as you know where it was canelo picking at each champion to make it unified I'm, this would be a different I'm, I'm, game. I'm, I'm all good with these dudes fighting each other but i can skip out on uh zerto against b-ball <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, sure. yeah that's an hour i'm never but, getting I mean, back you, you gotta do it because this is one knock mm. that mma fans really legitimately have on boxing is the best guys aren't fighting the best guys because of sanctioning and commissions and uh, promotions and stuff like that. Why haven't these guys fought each other yet? Right. They better be of right. how old? Thirty nine. Yeah, he's up. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. And he yeah, he's, uh, he's long amateur there. career too. I, I, mean, I still he, think he better be of the best out of the he's group. He's finished everybody, but what? He hasn't fought any of the top four or five. You know, it's crazy. I've, it shouldn't happen. 
I mean, these guys should already be fighting. We like the Super Six tournament with Ward and Arthur Abraham and Carl Froch. Right. That was so rare, but it was great because you got to actually see who the best guy was. It ended yep. up being Andre Ward. He ended up, you know, becoming undefeated, beating Kovalev later. And if that tournament never happens, this many years later, we might be saying Carl Froch was better, or Kessler was better, or whatever, you know? Right. Right. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, they, they have. it has to happen. You know, and I think what it really kind of boils down to, I know it's the sanctionings, and I know, you know, people say, hey, they're not fighting each other. But what it comes down to is money, you know, is the mm -hmm. demand. Are people really calling to see these three guys go at it right now? You, but I don't think in the beginning. But after this Saturday, with two of the best out there, well, actually all three of them have already fought, I think now people are saying, hey, we want to see all these three of these guys mix it up. And if Canelo's jumping into this pool of light heavyweights, it makes it even better. So, yes, I'm yeah. with you guys. Yeah, I love I, seeing I, some action. I, 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 there. I do think better be of it, especially leaving this weekend, uh, probably wipes out. I mean, the dude punches like a horse. I mean, it, it's yes. that simple. Uh, he, slow starter, but we knew that. Uh, Marcus Brown kind of – Marcus Brown's a slick dude, so he uh, – uh, I mean, he gave, gave a much better account rounds. than what I was saying. Remember, I said, "Hey, I think he's going to give it a little bit more than what most but people were uh, he, talking about." You know, you, you can see like the awareness though with uh, Better Viev of uh, okay, this cuts bad. Let's get to work now and yeah. get this dude out of here because I'm on borrowed time already. Right, absolutely. You know, and he, he's been in some wars. You know, I mean, you could you could yeah. really see there's some wear and tear uh, with Better Viev, and uh, okay. you know, and that's something that the other guys like Zordo and, and Bivol have got to look at. And take notice that he's a slow starter. Um, we could take the early rounds. It's it's just worrying about those late rounds. What do we do when his power comes on? When he comes forward? When he tries to cut that ring off? What do we do there? That's what's that going to make those fights interesting. I tell you what, I'm with you. No Zordo and Bivol a fight. If it's it's if they both fight, better be up. Great. That's even better. <laughs> you know. So let them do that. The only problem is the miles. Uh, for better be is is it's going to be better for Canelo, and that's what I don't want. I want a fresher better be to get in with Canelo if that fight was to happen next. And someone like Bivol might be the best one here. We've just never seen him pushed, and he's so comfortable going on cruise control. He looks so it's bored. Just, uh, he looks bored. Yeah, sometimes. He, he looks more bored than we are. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> tough for me to rate that guy. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm it's, it, and it's also tough to watch his fights, so he's not doing himself any favors in getting a Canelo fight. You know, right? Well, he's winning. <laughs> he's so winning, Zerto, but uh, right, exactly, right. Now there's a there's a lot lot of fun we can. Have. I, I I expect Canelo to be 175. I uh, I know he's 175. Kinda, you know, <laughs> it's that meat, but uh, <laughs> that's the jump. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Now, Andre Ward. Right. Now, Andre Unless he wants to grab the, uh, the Bridger weight title. Oh, God. Hmm. You know, it's not actually a bad division, um, the fights they've kind that, of presented. That, it's not that bad. That, that, but, that, first, that first title fight was fun. I yeah, don't care it what it was. It was fun. It was fun to watch and stuff, you know. Hey, Andre Ward, though, 175. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Caballero.